Women's Heritage Center, and we want to thank them for letting us shoot teen scene here. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. Teen Scene. We're at the Maryland Women's Heritage Center, and joining us now are our guests. Would you like to introduce yourself? Brianne, Christy, Emma, Claire, Morgan, and I'm Leslie. So with us, there are so many inspirational women here. Would, do any of you have any heroines you've discovered here that you'd like to tell us about? Um, yeah, my heroine is Uni Shiver. She changed the World Olympics forever. I really would like to know more about her. Well, let's look at the clip of My heroine is Harriet Tubman because she really brought the United States into the modern world by helping African Americans gain their freedom. Let's have a look at Harriet Tubman. interesting about Harriet Tubman. So anybody else? My heroine is Kathleen Gira. She was a really inspirational person the way she taught and I just really um, am inspired by her. Let's have a look.
inspirational. Anyone else? Do you have a heroine? Lily shocked me. She was inspiring because she was a two-time survivor of breast cancer, and that's inspiring to me. Let's have a look at her. In 2004, Pat Artimovich approached the Potomac Valley Dressage Association with a dream. The dream of establishing a show that would benefit the Johns Hopkins Avon Foundation Breast Center. Pat's personal struggle with breast cancer has been won with the aid of the Hopkins staff and the companionship of her horses. For Pat and many others, the Ride for Life is a way of uniting a love of horses and their commitment to fighting breast cancer. Pat approached Lily Shockney, the administrative director of the Breast Center, with her concept of an all-volunteer event designed to provide the Breast Center with 100% of the proceeds. The Ride for Life has grown exponentially. It is now a two-day recognized show, gala, and performance held at the Prince George's Equestrian Center in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I was impressed that Pat had huge goals, financial goals, for this event. It, it, it far exceeds what I ever did anticipate such an event would be able to do. And now we're several years into doing this event called Ride for Life, which I think is the perfect name. Um, Ride for Life could not, be, could not be named any better than that. Um, my person that I'm inspired by is Adele Stamp. She was the first dean of women at University of Maryland, and I thought that was really amazing. Let's have a look at Adele. As you can see, there's a lot of inspirational women. What are some of the challenges you face as young women? Well, with me, sometimes I feel like like people out there like get bullied and like they like um, like feel scared all the time. And I just don't think that's right. Well, I think what really gets me mad is that there are so many inspirational women, and some girls just disrespect themselves. That's true. That's a really good point. Yeah, in school. You see all the time that guys expect girls who act a certain way to dress a certain way and that a lot of girls subject themselves to this because they want to get attention. Very insecure. Mm -hmm. So just learning about these women and seeing how they changed the world and how they respected themselves can really help the girls at school and anywhere really that they really are important and they don't have to do these things to get attention. Do you all feel under pressure to do these things? The pressures of society and stuff? Um, no, not me. I have people around me that love me for who I am. I don't feel like I need to change at all. That's really good. Yeah, and like even if you end up like feeling that way sometimes, you have like friends and family that can help you 
and like make you feel better about yourself. Yeah, you should never give in to peer pressure. It's true. Well, there's still positive peer pressure. That's like true. Yeah. Getting good grades, study groups. It's because the girls, they just dress like they really don't care and it just creates a really bad image for them and they don't know what they're doing. It's It will really definitely affect them in the future. Mm -hmm. Modesty is definitely a big thing. It's a big problem. Women are wearing too short skirts, they're revealing too much, which is just to get attention. I mean, if you really want to respect yourself, respect your body. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. That's good. So like, and like with a ton of people out there, they like, people don't realize that like first reputation is like a big thing and like people really look at that. So like make, people have to make sure that like they um, don't leave a bad reputation for people. Right, right, exactly. And this is what the young girls, they don't think about what it will, how it will affect them in the future. They really don't care. All they care about right now is getting attention like you said. Mm -hmm. That can be a big problem because young women are talk, talking and focusing on the now instead of the future. They're not realizing that what they'll do right now will affect other young women, affect their daughters if they have anything. Right. And yeah. 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 Right, like gangs. That's another thing. You know, some of these girls just hang out with gangs. Or a girl or the gangs go to the girls and change them. That's and they feel like they have to do it because it's like it's cool. Yeah, yeah. that peer pressure, that's why you should pick your friends carefully. Because um, your friends can really influence you and what you do. Right. True. Do you think there's a way that we could reinforce a positive image for women and there's a way that we can really make sure that women aren't doing this to themselves? Well, with all the people out there, I think there might be a way, but it, it would be really hard to stop. I think that if we just showed them what you know what they would end up as if they keep doing this to themselves. I think they would they might change. Role models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be yeah. role models. And I think if you like see like girls like bullying other girls, like try to stop it or try to like do something about it and not just like stand and watch because like that you could like regret it um, later and stuff like that. By standards. Yeah, yeah, just go tell a teacher or a parent or an adult because if like that girl or that boy or whoever is being bullied, they can end up really hurt, and it, it might be your, it might be our fault for just standing and watching. That's true. Yeah, it's important to get involved with that. Well, not involved, but yeah, help yeah. out with that. Hope you enjoyed the teen scene. See you next time.